It is July the 18th, 2022, 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm at the District Court of Maryland for a trial which I didn't ask for, which is violating my constitutional rights. I requested a jury trial and because of these corrupted individuals running the judicial system, they have kicked it down to a one trial judge trial against my constitutional rights. They have denied me a jury trial. So we're here at the one of the terrorists compound on 2nd Street. It's at 8552 2nd Street. This is the district court for Montgomery County. Again, I requested a jury trial for this fictitious trespassing. These individuals have took it upon themselves to deny me a jury trial, even though it is my constitutional right to have a jury trial. And on the records, they state, I have withdrawn my appeal. How can you have an appeal when you never had a trial? If they're saying that I withdrew my motion for a jury trial, they're sadly mistaken. At no time have I withdrew my appeal for a jury trial, nor have I waived my right to a jury trial. But here I am, scheduled for a trial by a judge in this terrorist compound. Again, our judicial system is run by individuals who are traitors to the Constitution of the United States. These individuals' job is to explain the law, but they have made it up on themselves to make law from the bench. These individuals state that because this is not a serious offense and it does not carry serious time, I'm not entitled to a jury trial. Where does it say that in the Constitution of the United States? It says it nowhere. It says in all criminal matters, a citizen has a right to be tried by his peers. Upon request, I have done that. And now I am being denied by the same people we put in to instruct and explain the law to. The Constitution supersedes any fictitious law that these states make. And this is a fictitious law. And we're about to find out because I have no intentions are participating in this one judge trial. I requested a jury trial of my peers and that's exactly what I want. Too many people have died for these rights, sacrificed for these rights. And we have a group of individuals who are trying to take these rights away from us.
So, if you don't hear from me, this trial starts at 9 o'clock in courtroom 401. I don't even know who the judge is. It smells like something dead in on this one. I don't even know who the prosecutor is. Even though the law states they must put their line in before a trial. Now, mind you, I'm using the state public defender in this foolishness so that there won't be any misunderstanding about this cohort and this conspiracy. My attorney has not subpoenaed my witnesses, has not done an investigation. She says, this is foolishness, but if it's foolishness, why aren't you investigating and calling the witnesses? Again, I've been on a piece of property since 2019. Not one time has anybody come to me and said that there was a problem. I have the keys to the property, I have the keys to the building, um, talk to the owner every two days, no problem until the 28th of April, 2022, when terrorists came to serve an eviction on me. And in one minute, I'm charged with trespassing on the property. So, let's see how far this corruption goes up the ladder. Something smells like shit over there. I was in circuit court for a jury trial and the prosecutor who refused to give his name and bar number said that I am not entitled to a jury trial, that my constitutional rights don't exist. Well, we're about to find out about that. We are about to find out if my constitutional rights don't exist. Look how that they love to use these Roman numerals. So if you don't hear from me, that means they have put me in a cage against my will because I won't go along with their corruption because I'm not 
The Constitution was written for a reason. It is supposed to be followed. These individuals are only to, supposed to explain the law, not make law. And who in this world decides what is serious enough for another human being? The prosecutor says the time and the crime is not serious enough for a jury trial. It's not serious enough for me to be heard by my peers, but by a terrorist member of the judicial system who decides your faith by a handshake or a cup of coffee or a telephone call. That's a, a one judge trial. It's not going to work today with me. I'm making it known right now. It's not going to work today with me. Too many people have died for these rights that I'm about to stand up for in this courtroom if they proceed for it. I have requested a jury trial and I want my jury trial. And nobody, I don't care if it's the prosecutor or the judge, is going to deny me my constitutional rights. They could do it and I'll sit in their jail and when I get out, I'm coming for their job and I'm gonna sue the shit out of them. This needs to stop. They are systematically taking our rights away from us daily. Who decides what is serious enough for another human being? One minute. It's serious enough for me to be incarcerated in a jail cell for a crime I didn't commit. This whole situation is a civil matter. It is not a criminal matter. But as you see, I'm in a district court on a criminal matter which carries 90 days in a cell for a crime I didn't commit. This is corruption at its highest level, taxpayers and citizens, and this needs to stop. We need to take immunity away from these judges and these prosecutors who are supposed to know the law. That's what they went to school for. Supposed to know the law, but yet and still, they're not implementing the law. They're implementing their feelings and a handshake and deals. There's a squirrel getting ready to go to trial. But again, we have to put a stop to this. That prosecutor said there is case law. If there is case law that denies a man his constitutional right, then everybody named that's on this case law should be terminated and their bar license should be removed because they violated the Constitution, which the 14th Amendment says you cannot abridge not one word that is written in the Constitution of the United States. And they just bridged it by adding, if it's under 90 days, you are not entitled to a jury trial. It says, in all criminal matters, a citizen has the right to a jury trial of his peers. I'm about to be denied that right. Well, I've already been denied that right, but I'm back down here now at this, this district court to attempt to go before a one-judge tribunal. And what gets me is, it's a shady tribunal because the prosecutor's office of Montgomery County should have been on dismiss this case because it's a civil matter. If you're going to evict somebody, there are rules and protocols in place for that. You are supposed to notify the person that eviction is being taken place. And if they still refuse to stay on the property, 
then you file a complaint with the court and the court has the sheriff come out and serve you with the complaint. And then you all come to court and you explain your situation to a judge, present your case to the judge, and he decides, if he decides that you are in default, then you are given in the state of Maryland, I think it's 15 days to vacate the property. None of that happened here. Tacoma Park came onto the property, told me I had to leave. Without taking any of my property, I had to leave the property. And when I refused, I was locked up for a trespassing. This is what this case is about. And Tacoma Park locked me up. Not the sheriff, not the courts. Tacoma Park, who has no jurisdiction to serve evictions. So let's see where this goes at. I know at the end of the day where it's going to go at. A lawsuit. A very large lawsuit. They took the vehicles off the property. And then through negotiation with the county executive, all my vehicles were returned to me without me paying one dime. Now, this is the criminal matter of a trespass from a corrupted police department. And I'm being denied my right to a jury trial, ladies and gentlemen, which is my constitutional right. Which is what their forefathers wrote up. Their forefathers wrote up. And so many people have died for these constitutional rights. which is the Sixth Amendment of the United States Constitution, which states in all criminal proceeding, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state or district wherein the crime shall have been committed. Okay, I requested that jury trial. And I'm being denied it, ladies and gentlemen. I have been denied that right. And even in the state of Maryland, the Constitution, it is guaranteed to me. And I'm still being denied that right by the judicial system in Montgomery County. There won't be no trial today with me participating in it. I'm a person, I come here, I don't run from anything. I come here to hear what these people have to say and if they're not willing to kick it back up to the circuit court and allow me 12 of my citizens to hear how foolishness this whole thing is, there won't be no trial. You can lock me up for contempt of court. And every day I sit in there, it's going to be $1 million. And I'm coming out to get the judge, the prosecutor, the public defender, who all don't know the law, to remove their license away from them, their job. They don't need to sit where they're sitting at. This should have been dismissed from day one. Common sense would have told somebody in the prosecutor's office about evictions. About evictions. Now we're going to skip over certain laws and, and statutes and rules. And here we are going to pick up what we want to pick up and do what we want to do. And this is how this judicial system works. It doesn't go by law. It goes by what these people do behind closed doors and what deals they make. I had the circuit court judge say he never even seen nothing like this before or heard anything like this before. And he made a phone call and the administrative judge in this courtroom, which is, I don't know who he is, but I'm gonna find out, said that this trial will be held in this courtroom. 
Well, we'll see about that. So stay tuned. If you don't hear from me in a couple of hours, you know I got locked up. This is July the 18th, 2022. Stay tuned.